All right, this is it, the grand finale. The last time I'm giving you my phone. Well, look, I don't know that you've given people enough warning. I have. I've given you about two months' worth of warning. Because this, if, if they were to know that this is actually it, the last ever, then I, th- I feel like they would have gone next level with the messages, and I, I don't know that we're in for that. I feel like this segment is stopping me from a real, proper relationship. You've given up on everything else to blame. Now you're blaming this segment. Yes. Have you thought about looking inside yourself, Lyndall? <laughs> no? The fact that I shun everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's at arm's length. <laughs> right, here's a few of the DMs you've received over the past week. All right, it reads, <clears throat> Hey, Lyndall, if you were a library book, I'd check you out every week and never return you because you're overdue for a date with me. That's so corny. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Cheesy pickup line. Cheesy pickup line. Hey, Send. Okay, well, this one sounds genuine with a nice compliment. <clears throat> hey, Lyndall, you are the hottest celebrity that I know who lives in the Illawarra. Winking kiss face emoji. But I did move here three months ago. Cool. Yeah. A, not a celebrity. B, I don't even know how to interpret that. <laughs> C, thanks. Well, uh, here it is. The last one then. Ever. For today. (laughs) For this week. The DM reads, Hey, Lyndall, do you know what my favourite thing about Easter is? It's the chance to hunt for eggs. And I've got my eyes set on yours. (laughs) That's actually gross. (laughs) Okay, that's the end of that segment. (laughs) Oh, come on. It might be back. You never know. I've got two weeks to try and convince her otherwise. I'll come up with something else in the holidays. It's on you then. Mm. You've got to come up with something else. No pressure. Mm. Better be good, mate.